to Project Drive Safer now. Traffic calming measures in Milwaukee show signs of success. That word from the city engineer today. Bruce Harrison reports on the findings and how some residents, though, still have concerns. We like to take a look at uh, kind of a before situation before we install them and an after situation. City engineer Kevin Muse telling the committee these posts to narrow roads have significantly decreased speeds. The average speed uh, in the quarter might only change by a mile an hour or something like that, but the number of people going more than 10 miles an hour over the speed limit goes way down. Downey says by 40 percent or more. Muse says over 24 to 48 hour periods, the city measured speeds before the posts went up and a year later to get their results. It's also about decreasing pedestrians, people walking uh, exposure to the cars. Um, so we're shortening the crossing distance across an intersection. Last year, the city also began installing concrete bump outs. Muse says they'll be sharing results on those in the coming months. As somebody who lives along Capitol, what have you seen so far since these went up? Accidents. Right across the street over here, we saw four accidents within a month. Mary, who lives right by several bump outs along Capitol, says so far she believes they're causing more harm than good. Some people don't realize that they're there and they speed and they're trying to switch lanes and I'm afraid that one of them may accidentally hit it and then run into my house. Public Works Committee Chair Bob Bauman supports the measures and calls the data progress. Yet people are still hitting some of these bump outs. When you, when you hear that, what does it make you think? We have a long way to go. We have a long way to go to train people that it's in their own interest to drive safe. Reporting in Milwaukee, Bruce Harrison, TMJ4 News.